Hello, my VTuber lesbians. I'm Vampire Ian, and welcome to Batty Decks, the series where I give you a profile on a deck that I've brewed up on a whim for your entertainment. Today, we're taking a look at Sprite Live Twin. This deck harnesses the incredible power of the level 2, rank 2, and link 2 focused sprite archetype, which are thunder light monsters based on upper atmosphere electrical phenomena, uh, which are newly released from Power of the Elements. Uh, in combination with the powerful recursive abilities of Live Twin, an archetype based on lesbians who are Cybers VTubers by day and Fiend Phantom Thieves by night, which all happen to mostly consist of level 2 and link 2 monsters, uh, and is all in a small package. These two powerful strategies join forces together in order to, uh, you know, do a scythe lock. Yeah, I'm sorry, but... You know, after you do the scythe lock, it's really cool and based. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> With everything else going on in the deck, I really want to show it off. But I can't ignore the scythe lock, because it's just hanging over the head of it like a Damocles sword. So I gotta show it to you if you want to do it. With that said, let's get into the deck. So here's the deck. Like I said earlier, both Sprite and Life Twin are strategies with pretty small engines, so they both fit snugly in their entirety here in one 40 card deck with all the equalizers we'll need to take down our opponents' end boards and all the scythe crap. Now let's do the card by card. Starting with the Sprite package, we have the usual 3 blue, 3 jet, uh, which both summon themselves if you control a level or rank 2, and then get a search, blue searching Sprite monsters, and jet searching a Sprite spell trap, uh, in this case, of course, being starter. Then we have 2 red, 2 carrot, uh, an extra carrot from my usual, just to have another monster in rotation as a starter or extender. Uh, these two also special themselves, but only if you control a level or link to monster. Then they serve as effect negation, red tributing another sprite to negate monster effects, and carrot tributing another monster to negate a spell trap. Then we have three sprite starter, uh, which specials the sprite from the deck at the cost of life points equal to the dinky attack stat of the one summoned, and a lock to level rank and link to monsters. Next up we have the live twin package, starting with three of each twin, which on summon special summon the other from the hand or deck if you control no other monsters. Then we have the two alt outfits, frost and treat. Uh, these both special from the hand if you control any of the other twin as an extender, and then they have effects in the grave. Treat acts as an attack reduction if an evil twin monster does battle damage, and Frost draws you a card if your opponent activates an effect that adds a card from their deck to their hand while you control an evil twin monster. Three Secret Password, which searches a live twin or evil twin spell trap. One live twin home gets a live twin monster onto the field from deck by discarding a card at quick play speed, but locks you into evil twin summons from the extra deck. And lastly, Three Sunny Snitch, uh, which serves as the tanky of the archetype, adding a live twin to hand. And if you control an evil twin, every time your opponent summons a monster, you gain 200 life points and burn them for 200. It doesn't add up to very much usually, but it does slow down the simulator for a bit, and that's as much of a win con as anything else. To round out the monsters, we have Artifact Scythe for the dreaded Scythe Lock, preventing our opponent from special summoning on their turn. May whatever is out there have mercy on us all. Before we get into the equalizers, I want to shout out Called By here. Uh, helps protect our live twin plays and can also tear up tier elements, fusion summons, uh, you know, after you're done scythe locking them. And then we have the equalizers. And I think this deck, because of its small core size, is able to play more equalizers than most decks, making sure you aren't stuck facing an immovable object with no counterplay. Firstly, we have three triple tacks, a very good card if you get interrupted, which you probably will, allowing you to then pot of greed, change of heart, or forceful sentry. Then we have Dark Ruler No More. This is the MVP of the format, negating all your opponent's effects on field for the turn in exchange for preventing you from doing any damage to them. Essential in this format. Just an absolutely nutty card. Then we have Forbidden Droplet, a very powerful card that can turn dead cards into negates and also has the attack to help you beat over big bunguses. And lastly, Harpy's Feather Duster, the card that I shove into every single deck. There's too many floodgates running around to not be maining this card, in my opinion. All right, that's it for the main. So now let's get into the extra. We have two Gigantic Sprite. This is a really killer card that you can make with any two of the main deck monsters that summons a level two from the deck. So summoning this large man nets you a large advantage, but also largely locks you into twos. Two Sprite Elf allows you to get twos you've already used back from the grave to be used yet again. Killer card just like Gigantic, gotta have them at two. 
Then we have three of each evil twin, Kisakil and Leela. These lesbians recur themselves a ton, so having as many of them as possible just makes sense. And additionally, since they're linked to, they synergize with our sprites. We also have one of the evil twin boss monster, Trouble Sunny. This card is very powerful and tags into the little lesbians as a quick effect. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to make it very often because we do get locked into Link 2s, and this is a Link 4. Despite that, though, I could easily see playing another copy cutting one of these other cards in here. Uh, especially if you're cutting the Scythe content, you can cut Dagda, add another Trouble Sunny. Speaking of, next up we have Artifact Dagda. This is what does the Scythe lock. Honk Shoe. Honk Shoe. And then we have a couple of more tech options. Uh, we have Nightmare Unicorn, which bounces a card to the deck, and Mr. Gloomy Dark, uh, who helps deal with dark stuff. And then we have uh, IP Mascarena, which just goes into uh, Link plays on your opponent's turn. It's also a Link too, so it has that synergy. Um, yeah, it's here to uh, summon on your opponent's turn, basically. Lastly, let's talk about the sideboard. I've got Lightning Storm, if you really want to be able to board wipe stuff, back or front. Anti-Spell Fragrance to deal with heavy spell decks. Please ban this card. This card is nuts. Uh, we have Dimensional Barrier in case you run up against something that's focused on a particular summoning mechanic. Tier Elements, perhaps. We have Cosmic Cyclone in case you need some extra back row removal. And the Banish can come up very handily. We have Red Reboot in case you run up against a trap deck. This card is crazy. Probably shouldn't be in the format, but it is, so we're playing it. We have one change of heart. This card is an interesting bit of interaction that's hard to deal with in some situations. So we're playing it just in case you come up against a matchup where it would be useful to have. And then we're playing one copy of Sprite Smashers, which is searchable off of Sprite Jet and can act as a banish removal to deal with more sticky monsters. So there you have it. Uh, a deck that is half gas, half equalizers, and a drop of Scythe Lock to ruin the batch. And if you hate Scythe as much as I do, feel free to drop the Scythe for the change of heart and Dagda for another copy of Trouble Sunny. Your sharding combo doesn't really change all that much, just don't go into Dagda and make sure to leave Sprite Red, Carrot, or both on the field. So yeah, let's get into the test hand. Alright, so as you can see we drew Sprite Red, Forbidden Droplet, Triple Tech, Kiss a Kill, and Call by the Grave. Now this is enough for combo, although there's not really a whole lot of extenders here. We are able to use called by to help protect our plays and triple tack here will uh, also get us into extenders potentially if we do get interrupted so let's go ahead and see what we can do with it first we're going to start with normal summoning kiss a kill activating the effect to summon leela then we can take both of these two into gigantic sprite locking us into twos but we're going to activate the ability to summon blue from deck Blue is going to trigger to grab us Jet. Then we're going to summon the Jet from hand to trigger it and grab Starter. Now we can take the two spent sprites into Dagda and activate Sprite Starter, triggering Dagda to set Scythe and summon Carrot. We already have the red in hand, we just want to get Carrot on field. Now we're going to summon the red from hand and we're going to take Gigantic Sprite and Dagda into Elf. We're going to activate Elf, target, targeting Kiss-A-Kill. kiss -Kill comes back, and we take Red and kiss -Kill into Evil Twin kiss -Kill. Evil Twin kiss -Kill effect to bring back the Leela. Then we'll go from those two into the Evil Leela, and we can use the Evil Leela effect to bring back the Evil kiss -Kill using the kiss -a kill effect to draw a card, and then go both of them into another kiss -a kill uh, The reason we do this is so we can bring back the evil Leela on our opponent's turn. So we'll go to end phase, not setting the grave, the called by, or the droplet for some reason. And then in our opponent's turn, we can activate the kiss -a kill effect to bring back Leela, activating the Leela effect to pop our own scythe, thus activating its effect to bring itself back. We're also going to activate the elf effect to bring back the red for a monster negate. And then we'll activate the scythe, locking our opponent. So there you have it. With the test hand done, let's get into some of the games. First off, I just want to give a thank you to TAC for helping me out with getting these games for the video. Make sure to check them out, link in the description. So, our first game is against Jenk. 
and it's actually a really cool spellbook deck that has unfortunately drawn no spellbooks. Our hand, on the other hand, is looking pretty okay, although the Ash could be a problem. All right, so we're going to activate the Passphrase from hand, uh, getting the Sunny Snitch. We're going to activate the Sunny Snitch to search Leela. We're going to normal that Leela, activating the effect to get the Kiss a Kill from deck. We're going to summon the Carrot, use the Carrot and the Kiss a Kill for a Sprite, uh, locking us into twos. We're going to at get an Ash on that Sprite. Then we're going to summon the Frost from hand, use the Sprite and the Frost to go into Dagda. Then we're going to triple tack with the Dagda on field to trigger the Dagda and draw two. We're going to set the Scythe and draw two. Off the top, a blue and called by perfect draws. We're going to summon the blue, use the blue effect to search a jet. We're going to summon the jet, use the jet effect to get the starter. And then we're going to use jet and Dagda to go into elf. Elf effect, bring back the carrot. Then we're going to use uh, Blue and Leela to go into Evil Leela, Evil Leela effect to get Kiss a Kill. Then we're going to use them to go into Evil Kiss a Kill. We're going to starter for red and pass on that. Our opponent uh, needs to draw something good off the top and they have drawn a second Blaze Accelerator. Not exactly what they're looking for. They're going to Ecclesia. We're going to activate the Kiss a Kill to bring back Leela, Leela targeting our Scythe. They're going to use uh, Ecclesia to search flirtily. We're going to pop the scythe, and the scythe will summon back, creating the lock. Then we'll go to battle. They're going to attack into our elf, and then set four and pass. So at the start of our turn, they're going to activate Schism. I believe that they're hoping that I would negate this, but I choose not to. Instead, they activate the Dogmatica Punishment, which will send a fusion monster to grave that they can use for the for the schism. Uh, and also they target carrot, which will destroy the carrot. So we're going to go ahead and activate the carrot, sending Leela, so we can bring Leela back from the grave uh, to destroy the punishment and stop it from sending the fusion monster. We're going to bring back the Leela. We're going to pop their back row and oopsie, that's a blaze accelerator. So we're going to activate the blaze accelerator. They're going to send the three scatter shots. They're going to try to inflict the damage and send the other... Yeah, they're going to send all of them to try and wipe our field. We're going to call by one of them, and that's going to negate it, and they will surrender. So game two, we know what they're up to, and have swapped our monster negates for spell disruption, including the anti-spell fragrance in hand. Please ban. Our opponent's going to go first, and they're going to set two and pass. We're going to draw a kiss -a kill off the top, and then we are going to normal summon a kiss -a kill activating the effect to get a Leela from deck. They're going to activate Blaze Accelerator Reload, using the effect... But we're going to Cosmic Cyclone that Blaze Accelerator because we don't want that activating. It'll get banished. We will summon Sprite Jet using Jet to search Starter. They're going to Ash that, but unfortunately we already have the Starter in hand. We're going to go into Sprite, activating the effect. They're going to Imperm the Sprite, and then we'll slam the Starter down to summon the Blue. We'll activate Blue, and they will Surrender because we have had an answer for everything that they had available. So that's how the deck plays against the kind of decks you might see at your locals. Let's see how it competes with the meta threats you might see at YCS. So our meta match is against Fluon Dereze, which are significantly helped by the lower amount of hand traps in the format. Our hand is serviceable, but we lack critical information about our opponent's hand. We're going to activate the Sunny Snitch which will grab us a kiss -a kill from our deck. We're going to summon the kiss -a kill activate the effect, and we will grab the Leela. Next, we will Starter. Starter getting blue. Blue adding Jet. Jet effect, getting another Starter, <laughs> making three Starters. <laughs> we'll take the Jet and the blue and go into Gigantic. Gigantic effect will activate to get Carrot. Then we'll take Gigantic and Leela into Dagda. We'll summon the Treat, and we'll go Kiss a Kill and Jet into Elf, activating the Elf effect, targeting Carrot, unfortunately neglecting to activate the Dagda like we were intending to, uh, which means we have to take the Carrot and Leela into Evil Twin Leela, activating the Leela effect to bring back Kiss a Kill and activating the Dagda effect to set Scythe. Once we have the Evil Twin Leela and the kiss -a kill on field, we're going to take both of them and make another Evil Twin, Evil Twin kiss -a kill Then we'll set a starter and pass. 
Now this is a pretty strong end board. It does the scythe lock. It does everything we want. Except we don't have the carrot on the field. And our opponent has Mystic Mine. They're going to activate the Mystic Mine. And we are going to uh we're going to sit here while they do their birds. Um and I realize at this point that our only win condition is the Sunny Snitch. <laughs> they summon Rabina, which allows them to search Eaglin and then normal summon it. Eaglin then searches. They grab Ryza, then they tribute for M Pen. Mpen effect will uh, search and they'll chain Rabina to it. They grab Unexplored Winds, then they Advent Adventure, banishing the Rabina to get Stree. They'll play the Unexplored Winds, and then they'll play Map, getting rid of the Mystic Mine, but we are currently under the Mpen lock. They'll Map to summon Stree, banishing the Toucan, which they can then grab back to hand after banishing our Leela. And, uh, yeah, I mean, they'll summon the Ryza, send a bunch of stuff back. Don't really know what we expect to do here. We just keep going for a bit just to see if anything can happen. But the M-Pen has effectively destroyed our entire strategy. All our monsters are link monsters. They stay in attack position. Scythe will destroy itself and summon itself back, activating the Scythe lock in a point where it doesn't matter and we'll start our turn. We'll draw the treat that they brought back to the top of our deck. We'll summon the Leela. They'll map. We'll start her. And then we realize, what can we even do? They'll Toucan. They'll Eaglin. They'll Rabina. Not even worried about chain blocking. They'll summon the Eaglin. We'll red it, but it doesn't matter because they have the M-Pen and the Ryza, and we'll surrender. <laughs> Game two, we've once again removed some of our monster negates for spell trap removal, just the useless ones. And we've also put in Splight Smashers as generic removal. Um, more importantly though, we removed the Scythe because it really does nothing against the birds. It locks you out of special summons, the birds all normal summon. Uh, we have to find a new combo here on the fly. Let's see if we can. We've drawn well as usual. There aren't many bad hands in this deck, but our opponent has exactly the equalizers to undo our work. We're gonna start with a secret passcode. Then we'll activate the Sunny Snitch we see it search off of it. That'll get us a Kiss a Kill Frost. We grab the Frost because I need an extender. I fear interruption. We're going to activate the Leela to get the other Kiss a Kill. We're going to summon the Red, use them to make Gigantic Sprite. We're going to activate it. It's going to eat the Ash as usual. We're going to activate Starter from hand. And then we're going to get Blue. Blue will grab us Jet. We'll activate Jet, summoning itself, and grabbing another starter, because we happen to draw the Smashers in hand. This is why we don't play Smashers in the main, folks. It's a bad card. It's a bad card. We're going to take Gigantic Sprite and Blue, and we're going to make Elf with them. We're going to activate the Elf effect to bring back the red. Then we're going to take Leela and Jet, and we're going to make Evil Leela. Evil Leela effect to bring back the kiss -a kill Then we'll take the two of them into Evil kiss -a kill we're going to set a couple, and we're going to pass to our opponent. Uh, we're hoping that we can pop the map with the evil twin Leela in Grave. They're going to Dark Ruler no more, however. So that plan goes out the window. They're going to Lightning Storm to clear our back row. Uh, they have everything. We're going to Starter here. Starter is going to get a red. The reason we grab red here is because if our opponent doesn't have exactly map, red can stop their plays by negating the effect of the normal summon monster. But carrot can only stop the map or the advent, which we don't know that they need to resolve in order to play. So the lightning storm will resolve. They'll advent, sending Mpen and grabbing Rabina. Then they'll activate the map, and at this point I know my goose is cooked. They're going to map effect, sending Eaglin to normal summon Rabina. The Rabina will chain with the Eaglin. The Eaglin will return the hand. They'll grab Toucan. They're going to summon the Toucan, activating its effect to get the M-Pen back. We're going to have to negate that so they can't get the M-Pen because the M-Pen turns off everything for us. The negate will go through, and after that, they still have a normal summon. They'll normal summon Eaglin. Eaglin will search, and the Toucan will return the hand. If they have the M-Pen off the search, we're doomed. And there it is. So we go ahead and surrender. So that's the deck. Barring a bad matchup against the Winged Menace of Tiered Ladder, this deck is pretty strong. 
The deck is obviously less strong than the Sprite Frog decks that will be all over the place in the coming months, but it serves as something else to do with the obviously powerful Sprite cards and a way to use the awesome resource engine of the Live Twins. It's just a shame that you don't get to summon Trouble Sunny much, and then we have to rely on the Scythe Lock instead. I'd say try the deck for yourself, but this deck is so prohibitively expensive that I cannot recommend it for anything other than digital play. Otherwise, definitely a fun deck that I'm looking forward to seeing other people pilot while I try to find a good budget deck. Attic Nistures, anyone? Thanks for watching, everyone. As always, if you use this deck or make innovations on it, tell me in the comments. If you get any tops with it, at me on Twitter. I want to know what you do with it. Speaking of, make sure you're following me on Twitter and Twitch. That's where I stream. Give this video a like, share, and subscribe if you like it or any of this stuff that I make. Uh, this is the first one that I've scripted, so let me know what you think of it. If you really like it, you can check out my Patreon, tip link, throne wish list, help support the channel so I can make more videos like this. Uh, additionally, if you ignore my advice and buy this deck, or any other TCG sealed singles or accessories, use my TCG player affiliate link, help support the channel. With all that said, thank you all for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Be kind to yourselves, be kind to others, and have a wonderful rest of uh, whatever time it is for you. Bye bye.